A big change from the government may go the extra step to protect kids on their way to school. Good evening. I'm Kim Chapman. And I'm Calvin Sneed. For the very first time, government safety administrators say they want every child on a school bus to wear a seatbelt. News Channel 9's Hannah Lawrence joins us now live to tell us how new requirements could affect your child's ride to school. Hannah. Kim Calvin, the first thing that you're supposed to do when you get into a car is put on your seatbelt because it's the law and it can protect you if you get into an accident. But for kids riding these school buses over here, that's not even an option. It could soon be because of that proposal. An image that many still can't get out of their heads 15 years later. I was down at Tenga, Georgia for that uh, particular tragedy. Three children died when this train hit a school bus. Four more survived the wreck. Onboard video later showed that the bus driver failed to stop at the railroad crossing. I don't know that it could have been prevented, but it, some of the injuries might have been less severe as a result of, uh, of having, having seat belts. That bus, like this one, didn't have seat belts. For the first time, the government is supporting a movement to have a seat belt for every child on a school bus. I assume it's going to be on newly manufactured school buses and not a retrofit. In either case, former chairman of the National Transportation Safety Board, Jim Hall, says it's an important step forward. I was quite surprised uh, uh, that NHTSA has finally uh, come around to common sense. The head of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is acknowledging that it will be an expensive challenge but says it, quote, will save the lives of children. Emily Ringstaff says her three-year-old little boy will soon ride the school bus, and she says she'd like to see the transition. Especially because he's so rowdy and would try to get out of the seat, for sure. There's still a lot of questions tonight, like who would pay for the belts if they were mandated, and how administrators would make sure that children are wearing them, especially if they can't see the kids in the back of the bus. One of the things that we should be teaching in our public schools and all of our school systems is personal responsibility. If their parents make them wear them, they probably wouldn't have a problem doing it for someone else. Hall says by requiring new buses to be built with seat belts, Schools may be able to prevent losing children like this again. Those are the type of tragedies that uh, should not happen. Immaculate condition, you can see these are the seatbelts on buses. Decision has been left up to the state. Governor Haslam was in Tennessee in Chattanooga today. We talked to him about the proposal. He says he's open to possibly discussing state funding to make the change. Live in Hannibal, Hamilton County, Hannah Lawrence, News Channel 9. All right, Hannah, thank you. We posted a poll question on our Facebook page to see how you feel about potential changes. The three choices are I approve, I disapprove, and I'm not sure. At last check, more than half of you say that you approve of seatbelts on school buses. Christy Jacobs says it's the law no matter the vehicle. Morgan Allen thinks it's a bad idea, saying if the bus flips, children will be stuck in those seatbelts.